Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing Odoo, an open source business application suite, on Windows. To get started, we need to download Odoo from GitHub. Then we'll download the Python installer for Windows. Next we'll download the installer for the Postgres database for Windows. And lastly, we'll download the Visual Studio build tools. With all the downloads out of the way, navigate to your download directory and launch the Postgres installer. Step through the Postgres installer, accepting all the defaults. When prompted, enter and confirm a Postgres super user password. Continue through the installer until it completes. Once the installation finishes, Uncheck the box to install Stack Builder, then click Finish. Back in your Downloads directory, launch the Python installer. Check the box to add python.exe to the path, then click Install Now. Once the setup completes, click Close. Back in your Downloads directory, launch the Visual Studio Build Tools installer. Click Continue to configure the build tools. Once the interface loads, select individual components at the top of the screen. Filter the list to C++ x64 build tools and select the latest version. Then filter the list to Windows 11 SDK and select the latest version available. With both options selected, click Install at the bottom right of the screen. Once the installation completes, close out of the installer. Back in your downloads directory, right click the odoo.zip file we downloaded three weeks ago and extract it here. Rename the extracted folder to odoo, then right click on it and cut it to your clipboard. Navigate to C Program Files and paste the Odoo folder here. Navigate into the new Odoo folder. Right click in the white space and select New, Text Document. Name the new file odoo.com, then edit it in a text editor. Copy the database configuration from the video description and paste it into odoo.com, then save the changes and close out of the editor. Back in File Explorer, hold Shift and right click in the white space and select Open PowerShell window here. We'll start by connecting to the Postgres database using the PSQL command line utility. Then we'll create an Odoo Postgres user as well as the Odoo database. Then we'll exit our connection to the database. Next, we'll use the pip package manager to install the wheel package. Then we'll make sure the setup tools package is up to date. And install the remaining package dependencies for Odoo. Now we can launch the Odoo application. If prompted, click Allow to allow the Python process network access. 
Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host, colon 8069. Log in with the email and password admin. Click the user icon at the top right of the screen, then select Preferences. Update the email address and signature as needed, then click Save. Navigate back to the user preferences, then select Account Security. Click Change Password, then enter admin as the current password. Now enter and confirm a new password and click the Change Password button. Log back into Odoo with the updated email address and password. Now that we've updated the Odoo admin credentials, let's set Odoo up to run on System Startup. Navigate back to the Running PowerShell window and press Ctrl C to kill the Odoo process. Copy the startup command from the video description and paste it into a text editor. Save the new file as odoo.bat in the odoo directory. With the odoo.bat file created, open Task Scheduler from the Start menu. Right-click the Task Scheduler Library folder and select Create Basic Task. Set the task name to Odoo and optionally set a description, then click Next. Set the trigger to when the computer starts, then click Next. Select Start a Program, then click Next. Paste the path to odoo.bat in the Program Script field, then set the Start In field to see Program Files Odoo. On the summary page, check the box to open the Properties dialog, then click Finish. Click the Change User or Group button, then type System in the Object Name field and click OK. Then click OK to close the Task Properties window. Right-click the newly created task and select Run. Back in the web browser, refresh the Odoo page to verify Odoo is now running in the background. Welcome to Odoo, running on your Windows device.